Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, on today's episode, I am trying the first of five ciders that I got from the Essex Cider Shop, which is based in Chelmsford. If you've never, um, been to the Essex Cider Shop. It's a lovely little place. I um, actually, That was actually my first visit to it and I've always wanted to go down there. And the selection of um, different ciders that they do is really, really good. Um, I'd say offhand they've got about 60 or 70 different types of ciders, but they also do um, a couple of cider brandies. They also do uh, preservatives like jams and chilies and stuff like that. So it's definitely worth uh, checking them out. And they also have a Twitter page as well. So you know, definitely go and check them out if you haven't done already. But I digress because today's cider that we are trying is Bridge Farm Medium Cider Bottle Conditioned. Um, I must admit, I've not heard too many things about the uh, Bridge Farm Cider Company. I do know that they do um, a few different varieties of ciders, including a chilli one, which um, I haven't actually seen around at all, but I've seen pe a couple of um, different people do reviews on it. And that's kind of interesting, chilli-infused cider. Hmm, who knows, maybe a future review. But anyway, before we carry on with this review, let's get some details on Bridge Farm Bottle Conditioned Medium Cider. Bridge Farm Medium Cider comes in 500ml bottles, but you can also get it in 1 litre bottles as well, and also in a bag-in-the-box variety too. The alcohol percentage is 3.8% in volume, which is uh, kind of a low strength for a cider to be honest, and it's not even classed as a low alcohol cider, so that's a bit weird. Um, as it says on the front of the bottle, it's a medium tasting cider, and the price is around about £2.59, so that's pretty much a average price for this sort of cider, so will that match the taste? We'll find out soon. Now, I'm being a little bit careful with this bottle because obviously it's bottle conditioned, so uh, you know, you don't want to disturb the natural sediment or anything, but uh, on the front it says Bridge Farm Naturally Sparkling Bottle Conditioned Medium Cider. Cloudy Naturally, as it says right there. Can you see? Cloudy Naturally. Um, I must admit, 3.8% is quite a low ABV for a cider, but it's one of those weird ones where it's not so low that it can be considered a low alcohol cider, because still, after a couple of drinks of this, you're going to be kind of feeling the effects a little bit, so... Don't really know who this is catering to in terms of, like, strength and everything, but... Hey-ho, there we go. If I suppose if you've got a heavy work day tomorrow and you don't fancy, uh really hefty ABV beer or cider, then, um, you know, this one will be right up your alley. What makes it um, a little bit unique is it's got its own little batch number there, as you can see. Or is that the best before? No, that's the best before. My goodness me, I'm dumb, aren't I? Anyway, let's see. Bridge Farms Master Cider Maker has come up with this naturally sparkling, refreshing, cloudy cider. God, try saying that quickly. Make it part of your ritual, and um, they actually do have a ritual for it. I don't know if this is uh, their gimmick or not, but apparently you've got to place the bottle in the palm of your hand, tip 15 degrees and swirl clockwise and then anti-clockwise three times and only three times to wake the cider, pop the crown and dig in. Um, why you don't just invert and then invert again, I don't know. Uh, 1.9 units, there's actually nothing else on this cider, so... Alright then, I'll go with your little ritual. Okay, place bottle in palm of your hand, Tip 15 degrees, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, there we go, and it's not really done much at all. Don't know if you can see, oh, you can see, see that? Sediment is actually swirling about a little bit. Well, blow me, it actually worked. So let's pop the crown and enjoy this then. Now, as you can tell, I've uh, changed camera angles once again because I want to show off myself. That sounds weird. Anyway, oh, I can smell this already. Let's get a whiff. Oh, wow, you're getting um, almost kind of uh, real smoky dry hits. But strangely enough, you're also getting um, a real citrus hit as well. Again, I'm getting um, juicy, fresh oranges. Mmm, maybe um, 
even a, a touch of like a, a nut or something, like a hazelnut. Which is weird, you don't really get a, a nutty smell from a cider, but uh... Oh well, new smells and stuff is always uh, welcome in my thing, but that does smell really nice. Really um, zesty, fresh and juicy actually, so let's go and pour it in. You know what, I'm not... Uh, I'm not one for thinking, oh no, you don't really want natural sediment in your glass or anything, but you know what? That's what makes a cider sometimes, so I am going to go and um, pour most of this glass in and just see. You know what, I might leave a little bit of sediment. I might leave the sediment and say, oh no, never mind, there it goes. Quite a lot of it, actually. A lot of sediment. I think that was kind of unavoidable, but there you go. See it on the bottom there? How it's all gathered up. It's actually been a while since I've had um, a naturally bottle-conditioned cider, so I'm really interested to see how this is actually going to pan out. But here we go, this is Bridge Farm Medium Cider. As you can see, um, really quite quite cloudy actually which is um to be expected you know seeing as it is bottle conditioned but i don't know if you can see but it is very very lightly sparkling almost nothing in the glass it's got a kind of um an orange juice kind of color to it really it's um kind of bright and golden but overall it looks really really nice so let's go and get a whiff of the glass now Yeah, you're still getting those um, dry hits, but they um, seem to have subsided a little bit now. Still getting a slight uh, sweet hit as well. But now it's uh, more kind of uh, a zesty citrus fruit, like a lime I'm getting. Yeah, that orange smell's kind of dissipated a bit, so, um, well, I'm not going to waste any more time. Cheers, guys. Here's to uh, Bridge Farm Medium Cider. Oh, that had, a, that had a different taste to it at the end. Um, the first thing that I got was uh, kind of almost like um, a smoky, oaky initial taste at the start. Almost, um, again, kind of, a, kind of a nutty consistency to it. Um, can't quite put my finger on what kind of nut. Again, kind of like maybe like a hazelnut or a walnut, something like that. But it definitely had uh, a different taste to what I was actually expecting. I was expecting like really like fresh and zesty like oranges or something but that's not prevalent at all really but um the aftertaste had kind of a sort of a caramelly sort of aftertaste to it which um was actually quite pleasant let's uh, get a second opinion hmm oh yeah that there is there is a definite Definite like um, like a hard you know you get you get like the hard caramel sort of um, sort of sweets not the not like you know chewy toffee or anything like that but proper like hard caramel that you can sometimes get um, that's the sort of taste that you're getting on the aftertaste and it does leave a really nice um, dry finish all throughout your palate um, there's a undertone of sweetness as well all through all throughout but you know it's not really anything artificial at all although i wasn't really expecting it because this is you know a real cider that we have here thank god so um no this does taste really really nice it's kind of a kind of a different taste i almost wish that um the flavors kind of hung around a bit more than they do because when they're there, they're really like attacking your taste buds, but unfortunately they do kind of dissipate quite quickly. So um, in order to enjoy the flavours, you're going to have to keep on drinking this cider to actually get the most out of it. It's got a really um, full body taste, and I'm assuming that's probably down to... Um, the sediment that's in the glass that's given it a much fuller thicker consistency in your mouth but it's not um you know it's not syrup you know it's not like a syrup consist you know texture it just well it just basically makes you feel like you're drinking a real proper cider instead of just like you know watered down crap that you can get off the store shelves or something so um you know if, if you're um 
I'd say if you're looking for a cider that, you know, you just want to, you know, want to enjoy at any point really, whether it be like you've got a really busy work day or something, then um, I can see this going down really well. Has it blown my head off with all the tastes and textures? Not really. It's not uh, the best uh, tasting cider out there, but you know, that doesn't make it a bad one at all. So, let's go and get a final taste before the final verdict, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, as I said, once the, when the tastes are there, they are really, really nice. Really, um, you know, they're really fulfilling flavours that you're getting on the tastes. But unfortunately, they do just go away almost as quickly as they came, which is a shame. If they lingered about a little bit more, I might have, um, you know, might have decided to give this a little bit of a higher rating. But as it goes, and I'm going to go and uh, grab the old bottle here. As it goes. For a verdict, a Bridge Farm bottle conditioned medium cider still does get a quite respectable 7 out of 10. Um, I'd still recommend you give this a go guys, um, despite it being um, such a low ABV cider, it just goes to show that you can still get some really nice flavours, you know, if it's done right, and thankfully this has done it pretty much spot on, apart from obviously the uh, not lingering flavours and everything. If it had that, it would have scored a lot higher as well. But um, as it happens, because it's also around about the £2.59 mark, um, you know, some people might have been put off by that. But yeah, as I said, I'd still say give it a go. And you know what? I'm actually looking forward to trying some of the other um, ciders that Bridge Farm do. Hopefully Essex Cider Shop um, does them, because I'm hoping to visit them again at some point, you know, to, oh, excuse me, to um, stock up because my cider stocks are running a little low at the moment. Uh -uh. So yeah, hopefully they'll have some more Bridge Farm ciders for me, um, for me to try. Hee <laughs> hee, here's hoping. Anyway, I'm rambling on, so I'm going to call it quits there. That was another episode of The Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it, and as always, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, I'm going to go kick back, probably watch a film and enjoy the rest of this glass of Bridge Farm bottle conditioned medium cider. Take care guys, until next time.